text, and we should be able to see there's our 10 gigabyte file I.O. iSCSI being replicated. And we'll call this Power Vault. And we'll take the defaults and click on finish. And now we should see our added uh, devices here in data stores. So what we're going to do is we're take and create to finish this off to create a new virtual machine. Uh, we'll select typical. Uh, by the way, the Power Vault can be installed as a virtual machine. So if you decided to use some type of HA environment. Um, you can add the uh, Power Vault into as a virtual machine. All we ask is uh, to run it. You need a minimally of uh, two gig, and you want to use a 64-bit Linux version. And so here's our selective capacity of 10 gig, and of course we can create any. OS that we want. So for this instance, we'll just use a um, run to 64 bit and take the defaults. And you're done. So it, to, to wrap it up, what we have is a completed uh, iSCSI auto failover um, setup and configuration. Uh, going back again to just to review what we, we recapped. One is that the all the Ethernet NICs need to be set for to use the auxiliary port yeah, for the replication as well as for um, the public, which is E0, and also for a virtual IP address that is established here. Um, on your iSCSI failover, uh, you want to make sure that your ping node is something that you can reach. Um, when you create your tasks, you want to be able to set at the end to apply them over to the failover task and then of course hit apply and then begin your start button from that standpoint uh, scroll up and you want to be able to see from the source and destination or primary and secondary to make sure that the primary states that is active and that the secondary is showing that it is passive at that point keep in mind also that in the configuration I because the target manager that the targets and the target name, ASCSI ID, and LUN must be the same as well. So if your SCSI ID, a quick way is you want to copy and paste it over to your, from your source to your destination, and also keep the same LUN numbering. Do not use the write back function when using uh, the auto failover feature. And of course, your logical volume size must be the same or it will not work. And keep in mind also that you have to be in 32 bit mode and 64 bit mode uh, in order for the auto failover function or any type of replication to work as well. Now that concludes the Power Vault demonstration and auto failover with iSCSI volumes. Uh, come back and see us, and we'll have some other videos. Take care and have a great day. OpenE provides many how-to videos, but if you want more of OpenE's data storage server DSS advanced features, come visit us at www.open-e.com library.